Let's talk about coils. Coils are pretty cool. You can use them to generate electricity. You can use them to make electromagnets. And you can even use them to shoot projectiles. All these magical things work because of the link between electricity and magnetism. So let's talk about it. So the first thing to know is that electric current flowing through a wire will generate a magnetic field. So let's say that we have a wire and we connect our wire to a battery so that we have a current flowing through it in this direction. Now this, uh, this current will induce a magnetic field in a circle around the wire that is perpendicular to the direction of current flow. So excuse, <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing perspective, but it will act in It'll act in this direction. Now let's take this a step further and say that we have a loop of wire. Connect this to a battery and we get the current flowing in a direction around the loop. Now each one of these different segments of wire will have a magnetic field around it. Now, if you excuse my poor drawing and you visualize all of the inner segments of these magnetic field lines acting in the same direction, in this case, downwards, then you understand that they will combine together to create a stronger magnetic field in that direction. So if we show that, it will be a magnetic field that acts into the page uh, and it's a combination of all the different magnetic fields generated by each individual section of wire. Now let's take this one more step further still and imagine we have a bunch of combined loops of wire, which is essentially all that a coil is. Each one of these loops will have a magnetic field that acts in the same direction when we connect the battery, obviously. So we have our current flowing and each loop will have a magnetic field generated that acts in one direction. And then we combine all of these loops. We get an even stronger magnetic field that will act in this case, in the direction all the way through the coil, um, front to back or back to front. Now, Essentially, this is just a magnet because it has both a north and a south pole at the two sides. And we, this is what we can essentially use to do all of the cool things. Um, essentially, it's the basis for electromagnetism, um, building electromagnets, and also generators and coil guns and all the other things. So like I said, coils are pretty cool. Using them, you can basically have a magnet that you can turn on or off when you connect or disconnect current. And another thing you can do is change the strength of the magnet when you either increase the current or change the parameters of the coil that you're using. And this is how people make electromagnets. And I'll talk about that in particular in my next video. So stay tuned for that.